Hi guys and welcome to my video. Today I'm doing the last sketchbook slam challenge video, not because I managed to finish the 600 pages, I am nowhere near that, but because it's kind of getting boring and I know I don't have the time to do it, I don't have the patience for it, I just don't think it's the right challenge for me. At the end of this video I'm going to put up all of the sketches I have done for the challenge, which isn't very much at all, but it's the most I can do. This is just an incredibly time-consuming challenge and it doesn't work for me for a couple of reasons or maybe a few. The first is that I just don't have the time for it. The second is that I don't have the patience for it. Honestly, you have to really be strict on yourself to sit there and sketch, which I'm just not willing to do. When I was younger, up to my mid-twenties, I used to be incredibly strict on myself to keep a timetable. And I used to do that because I had this idea in my mind that if I structured my learning, that if I learned as much as I could and spent as much time as possible working, that I would succeed. But despite the effort I had put in, I didn't succeed. And a major part of that, I realised, is because it doesn't matter how hard you work, ultimately it does come down to luck. So after I realised this, I stopped being so strict on myself to keep a schedule and now I just don't keep schedules at all. Major 180 on my personality, but hey, that's just the way it is sometimes. With these sketches, I chose to do a page of snake heads and I think you can tell from the video that I struggled quite a lot actually. You can see just how much I'm erasing and trying to draw back in. I wasn't getting the proportions right at all. And I guess that tells me that I picked the right subject to practice because the whole point of the challenge is to improve. And while we're on that subject, I am going to say that if you genuinely want to improve, I do not think this challenge is right. And that's because the amount of time you would need to spend on the pages in order to complete 600 pages within a month leaves pretty much no room for thinking about your sketch the things you did wrong and how you would improve it in the next sketch and then putting in the effort to fix it in the next sketch. There's just no time for active learning in this challenge. So if you do genuinely want to improve upon your sketches, I wouldn't recommend the challenge at all. I would just recommend sketching and looking at the sketch you have just done and thinking about the things that you can improve upon, thinking about how you would go about improving it and then implementing that in the next sketch actively learning. That's the best way to improve. It, it isn't just to just draw and draw and draw without thinking, hoping that you'll improve along the way. You do need to think somewhat, at least. So anyway, back to the sketches I was doing. I really struggled with a few things. The first is proportion. For some reason, I just couldn't get my head into gear to get the proportions accurately the first or even the second time. I had to go over the sketch multiple times to fix the proportions. And the second thing I struggled with is just, I think it's the structure of the face of a snake. A snake's head has curves in places that I'm just not used to. And as a result, I struggled quite a bit. I do think I will have to do a lot more sketches on snakes before I can become competent at them, but I am happy with the end result, at least, even if I did struggle with the process of drawing the, the snakes. In terms of the line art, unlike the first page of sketches I had done, which is the fishes, if you recall from a past video, with those fishes, I put a lot of effort into the line work. I intentionally added in thickness and thinness to try and make the sketches look interesting. But with this page, I didn't do that because it just would have taken up unnecessary amounts of time. So instead, I just added the variation in by pressing down hard with my pencil and then releasing the pressure. That produces a somewhat interesting result, even if it isn't as interesting as my fish sketches, but I think it looks pretty cool and it does save a lot of time. You'll see that I completed the right side of the double page spread in this video. I will eventually, or I hope to, complete the left side of the double page spread also with snake sketches, but I'm thinking I might focus on, for example, the full body of the snake, so seeing it coiled up 
and also I'm really fascinated by the rattlesnake's rattle so I think I will be sketching that but I won't be doing it for a YouTube video. I think I'll just do it in my spare time and try and produce more coloured pieces or pieces that look a little bit more final than sketches do for my YouTube videos just because they look a lot more interesting in the thumbnail and the more interesting the thumbnail is the more likely that people will click on it and I kind of need to have interesting thumbnails because this is a fresh channel and I don't have many subscribers at all. I think at some point in the future I might even go back and add some shading on the page just to make it a little bit more interesting because right now none of the snakes really pop out whereas when I did my page of sketching with the fishes the fish head in the center of the page stands out because I did add shading on it but as for now I'm leaving this page as it is so let me know if you think I did a decent job and also if you have sketched lately let me know in the comments below what you drew because I would love to read that and that's it for the voiceover and the video thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time